Hey guys, and welcome to my Harvest Special. I thought tonight I'd play you a few songs off of my new up-and-coming EP, Brother. But I've been busy on some other things too. A little something something. <laughs> I have been working on my own jewelry line. Certitude Collection. And you can see all of the pieces on my website, justicemckay.com forward slash certitude collection. And it's all handmade with these hands right here. So I'd love to hear what you think for you to see it. And maybe think of someone else that has many meanings to every piece. So go check it out and let me know what you think. But first off, Tonight, I'm going to be performing a song, The Beast. So, let me give you a little background, a little story on the song. About a year ago, uh, I had a big life change. Uh, the way I thought my life was going to turn out, I had it all planned out to go a certain way. And it's sort of the whole rug got ripped out from underneath of me, and I sort of, I think we all can relate, and I think you guys can relate, some of you guys can relate, at least, that you get a little angry. You, you, I, like me, I got a little mad at God, uh, got a little bad at myself, and I guess how Paul, when he said, I do the things that I shouldn't do, and I don't do the things I should do. And sort of that's where the beast came from. And I hope you guys like it.
this beans and handed down generations for me planted fields on me but I We'll be right back after this commercial break. Time for churches. The day is so close, needed on the front lines. On with the battle cry. Holy.
Well, I hope you liked The Beast. And I so hope you sort of understand the whole... Uh, you don't recognize, like... I don't understand what I've become. Because about a year ago, I stared in the mirror and I was like... Who is that guy? <laughs> That's not me. So... Sort of that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing of just not exactly understanding who that is and having to stop feeding, to stop feeding the beast and sort of having to make that decision. And yeah. Well, the second song for tonight is 212. Fun fact, by the way. Blood boils at 212 degrees. You know, when somebody says, you make my blood boil, that's 212 degrees. <laughs> so, uh, recent, let me sort of tell you the story behind it. Uh, recently, I met up and hooked back up with my brother, half-brother, that I haven't seen in 15 years. And... Uh, you sort of look at him, you're like, <laughs> you're very similar to me. Same mannerisms and stuff like that. And I'm like, if you're like me, do you got, does your blood boil too? Does it run hot? And just, you might, you might have inherited some anger from somebody too. And so that's sort of where I wrote, like, you don't have to accept that anger. You don't have to claim it as yours. You can break the chain. It can stop here. We don't have to be anything like our father. So this is for you, Casey. Here you go, brother. This is 212.
We'll be right back after this commercial break. guys enjoyed the songs and I want to thank you for coming out this evening and experiencing my harvest special before you go you need to keep a lookout for brother my new up-and-coming EP which these songs will be on it uh, and runaway which I recorded a little while ago and released the impromptu sock beat session which I wrote for my foster brother, and Eastward to Eden, a song that I wrote about three years ago and recorded it, produced it, pretty much had it finished, just never released it. And so when I was going back through all my archives, I found it, I was like, wait, what is this? Pulled it out, I was like, this is actually really good. So I was like, man, I want to release this. But it was fitting because I wrote it for somebody that was like a brother to me. And so I think it's fitting that it's going on brother. So this whole album uh, or EP is all songs to uh, brother, uh, from half brothers to people that I feel like are my brothers. So it's sort of fitting that it's just called brother. So, also, go check out Certitude Collection, justink.com forward slash Certitude Collection. Because I'd love to hear what you think, because I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, many burnt fingers, bleeding, cut, ripped fingers, and broken nails, and a little bit of everything went into pouring my love into my jewelry so let me know what you think and go see if something just sparks your interest and helps support a local artist so 
thank you guys for coming out and being part of this. You have a good night. This concludes our broadcast day. Good night, and God bless America.